Helene. And I'm Penelope. We are a mother-daughter duo, believe it or not. <laughs> We're here at the Step It Up podcast. So excited that you're with us. And um, we're here empowering the overweight to overcome. Because we have, and we still are, you know, we're, every day we're taking a new step and working on ourselves. Yeah, it's like it's never really over. Never, ever. It's a really deep process, stepping it up every day in every way. And we're right smack dab in the middle of it. So it's not like we've reached somewhere. Um, maybe we have. But at least we've reached like a, a certain kind of peace around it mm, and acceptance. Peace and acceptance and love. Yeah, and that equals joy. And let's face it, we're not like, we're enjoying it. I mean, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I'm constantly trying to find ways that are even more delicious than the last way. I enjoy it and I also find it a test. Oh, what kind of test? Just like a test of my like patience. <laughs> A test of my agility, my test of my resilience. And what's up with those people that eat junk food and are thin? Yeah, because I also read a study, and I feel like you've told me this too. Those people are actually really unhealthy inside. And apparently those people die really fast. Oh, they're so. like thin on the outside but fat on the inside? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard about that before. Because it, it's a, even though you can't see the effects on the outside, the inside are affecting them. Wow. Yeah. So I'm a big, big person... <laughs> I am actually. I'm very big bones. In what way? <laughs> I have a lot of big bones, but that's okay. So do you? I do too. Okay. And that does like play a role in you know how you carry weight. We happen to be tall, so we're lucky. Like if you're shorter, so lucky. you can't really oh hide weight as well as if you're tall. That's for sure. But I mean, you know, you were talking about what the cost is to to stay overweight, and it's pretty expensive. I don't know about you guys, but like now when I go to Costco and I buy food. It's so much more expensive. I'm like, wait, how did this get to be $600? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what just happened? Um, now, organic food is expensive. Yeah, that's true. I'm not going to lie. And we do really want to buy organic food. Now, why do we buy organic food? We don't want genetically modified foods in our bodies. We don't want herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides because those things like poke holes in your intestines and make you not healthy. So like I'm interested in health and healthy. It's interesting because like we live in Los Angeles and health here is like everyone's so skinny, <gasps> you know, and they're like all like pumped up, you know, like super injected and like there's this look, there's like an LA look. And I'm not sure that that's healthy. It doesn't really look healthy to me. It, and you it, guys... Save the turtles are the same people who have plastic in their Oh lives. oh oh right implants, yeah. I mean I I don't wanna like No, but I'm just gossip, saying I like, think that people are gonna find that really interesting. Sure, that's inter that is a kind of I never thought about that, but that's a very accurate point. <laughs> <laughs> but like I went to Boulder, Colorado this summer mm. or last summer, and I was totally blown away by how healthy the people there were. They were like athletic and they were fit, but and they weren't like skinny mini like LA people. And I was like, huh, that's so interesting. Mm. And I and you know, there's this thing called groupthink. Mm -hmm. You probably have heard of it before. You I, you actually I never knew what it meant before you told me. Groupthink is like we want to be like everyone else in our area. So like if you're in Idaho and everyone's 100 pounds overweight, then maybe you feel like it's okay to be overweight because you would be weird if you were skinny. I'm just using that as an example. And I have no idea if you're from Idaho. I don't mean to offend you. I'm just like, I'm just like generalizing about group think. Are like, you saying that because Idaho has potatoes? I don't know. I think potatoes are a very healthy food actually, but I'm I don't kidding. eat a lot of them. Wait, wait, but hold on. Hold on. Because something I was trying to say is that being fat is actually more expensive. Yeah. Because you're paying for food out, which is super expensive. <laughs> I mean, like prepared food, like fat, like bad food is so expensive. I remember I ordered a pizza once. It was like twenty five dollars, twenty seven dollars. Yeah, that was in California. And you can make your own pizza at home for like, like a cauliflower pizza if you wanted to. Yeah, for like ten dollars or five dollars. Yeah, it's really cheap. And so that's what I mean. Like, yeah, and then yeah. if you're like if you're if obese and you're binge eating, oh yeah, two pizzas is fifty bucks. Right. Two cheeseburgers and fries and a milkshake is like. 50 bucks. Like, it's ridiculous. But it's not, yes, it's very expensive, like dollars. And frozen pizza, too. Frozen pizza is so expensive. I know, right? <laughs> like, $30 for a frozen pizza? Might as well just go to, you know, whatever, Domino's and buy one. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know how much Domino's is. I don't either costs. anymore, but I'm just saying, like, it's so expensive. It's, and then all the doctor's appointments you have to go to because you have all these problems. I had all these problems oh, when I was in Diabetes, overweight. cancer, heart disease. Like, but do you remember it gets all so the, expensive. Do you remember all the complaints I had when I was overweight? Too? Yeah. Like, mom, my back hurts, my brain hurts, my head hurts, my shoulders hurt, my knees hurt, my ankles hurt, my 
like and you, need, you needed a new wardrobe like every every few months, few months which is expensive because you're and the doctor's on... visits yeah and the amount of different doctors you'd go to because i had all these random problems oh my god that were caused by my me being overweight it's really tough and i know you understand this because you may be in this situation mm. and i'm really sorry because it's it's not easy I'm sorry, and also you have all of the power all within your literal hands and mouth. But you know what? You may not know what to do. Yeah. It took you time to learn what to do. Because you didn't want to do it my way. No, and I tried every diet. Like, I tried keto, paleo, Whole30, every diet. Yeah. You name it, I've done it. Counting calories, and journaling, Weight everything. Weight Watchers, Overeaters Anonymous, <gasps> the Glycemic Index, all the, and none Raw of Vegan. It worked. None of it worked except stepping it up and doing the Step It Up methodology, which me and my mother created when I was 10 years old. Well, we started creating it. We started creating it yeah. when I was 10 years old, and now we're completing it because it's the way that we got to be where we are today because you used to be overweight as a kid. Her mom passed away, unfortunately, at, when I was five months old from obesity at just at 50, right? Yeah. I've always been a little bit overweight, you know, and a I, lot overweight I, and I, a little bit yeah, less. Yeah, I was the same thing my whole life, and then did the Step It Up methodology. And I lost all of the weight, like over 100 pounds. And I think that the, the most important thing is the freedom. Yeah. It's just not ha having it have a grip on you. It's like shifting the relationship with it so it's no longer the addiction. I'm going to call it addiction. You know, it kind of is an addiction. It's so empowering to pick up an 100-pound weight and be like, I lost that. <laughs> and now I'm lifting that. Like, that is so empowering as, yeah. like, somebody who had that on them. Yeah. And it's incredible to see. And to be able to, like, move and dance and walk and hike and adventure. Oh, freedom. The freedom I yeah. have to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. I can go climb a mountain. I can go swim 25 laps. I can go do that because I am f mentally fit, physically fit. Emotionally, emotionally fit. Emotionally fit. It's yeah. amazing. It's truly amazing. It's the best freedom that anyone mm. could give you. Yeah, pretty amazing. But it wasn't like, you know, overnight. So no. I just want to say, like, there, right now that's trending this pill. There's an obesity pill and there's, like, all these all this buzz about it. Because it doesn't work. Like, there's no, I don't believe that there's an easy, fast solution. Well, it's not true. It is easy, but it's just not fast. Yeah. It just takes time and consistency and, like, a real commitment to saving yourself. And, yeah, you're going to save money. You're going to save energy. You're going to save time, ultimately. But learning something new does take its own time. Mm -hmm. And so it does require a, a shift in perspective and a shift in a willingness to start looking at labels and start, you know, really getting serious about loving yourself and taking care of yourself. Yes, to save money. But most importantly, to save agony. Because insurance companies now are, like, concerned because they know obesity is the new epidemic. Mm -hmm. And what are we going to do about it? Because yeah. it's lifestyle change, but there's no, like, there's no model for that. And I mean model like business model. Because, like, you can't really patent a drug that's called the lifestyle drug. It's how you live your life and how you do, like, like things from the morning to when you wake up to when you go to bed um, and how you decide that you're going to own that freedom that's yeah. already yours. Mm -hmm. You just have to claim it. Yeah, I love that. That was so beautifully said. Thank you. But you yeah. also have to learn how to create it for yourself because you might not know. So if you're interested in learning more about our Step It Up program that we're launching this summer, please definitely direct message us. Leave your email address below. We're going to be sharing recipes with you that are delicious and nutritious. <laughs> um, we'd love to answer your questions as well about, I don't know, whatever's on your mind, Anything. actually. And if you want to hear any topics that we haven't spoken about, leave them down in the comments below. Yeah. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. The cost to maintaining your obesity is so much greater than the cost and benefits that you're going to get from losing the weight once and for all. Mm. Not just a fad diet. Not just for a moment in time. Mm. But forever. So beautiful. That's what we want for you. And that's what we're doing for ourselves. Every day, every step, in every way. <laughs>